You will not believe what just happened to us today. Price is coming back soon. Happens in the closet, doesn't matter if you... Tell me, tell me right now, Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. We interrupted an anti-LGBTQ plus protest with over 200 people in it holding up signs and in true punk rock fashion performed our song in the middle of the crowd. Oh my bad, I didn't mean all Christians, just the bitches who don't listen and point their fingers kissing. The song was called Loaded Guns and I'm not even going to tell you what it's about. I'm going to just play you the clip right now. I'll be pissing on their graves when they're done. The ass is kicking. Tell me who's got more charges, me or Pastor Vincent? Old white men always gotta say shit. They can hold my dick, they don't want a conversation. They just want their kids to end up rich and racist. They're running out of time and I'm running out of patience. As you can see in the clip, we were literally being followed by protesters and we even had one of the protesters use his flag to start hitting me and start hitting Cam while we were recording. While we were being hit, I was like, dude, we cannot stop filming. This is perfect. He's literally giving us exactly what we wanted. I mean, we were, sur we were in hostile territory. We were surrounded by people that instantly knew that we were not on their side and they were not cool with us being there. I mean, I walked in with the white shirt and collar and the black tie and the camera. <laughs> and I kind of kept my head down low when we were walking into the crowd and I assumed that they thought I was one of them. Most people there were wearing white shirts, but then the moment they saw my eyeliner, I was fucked. Once people started giving us dirty looks and we realized that they knew we were there, we were like, all right, this is our chance. We gotta do a performance take right now. So I told Cam to go right up in front and I was like, all right, we gotta go right now. The pressure was on, people were watching us. And then I was like, all right, it's our time. And I just started performing as loud as I could. They were screaming at us the whole time. They were like, take do your stupid shit somewhere else and like whacking us. It's yeah. crazy. As soon as we finished the performance take, some huge ass dude started following in us, uh, following us, and I was like scared for my life. It was, was like, like a right. group of them. Yeah, it was a group of them. So we so we just like ran to the front of the crowd at that And then we did another performance take. All right, show the performance take. Put a bullet in a kid's head, think they got a sickness and they're not dressed up straight. But what happens in the closet doesn't matter if you profit from the flag of the USA. You're too fucking old. You do as you're told. You base your life off a nation's scroll. Out there burning witches, filling up the ditches. Tell me, can I still be saved? So that was a clip of me performing the song Randy McNally, which is a song I wrote named after the governor of Tennessee, one of the governors, Randy McNally. And in case you didn't know, at the time I wrote this, Tennessee was trying to pass a law banning drag shows in public spaces because they thought that it's a threat to kids, which is pretty much the point of this protest. Parents were afraid that if kids are exposed to the LGBTQ plus community or topics at a young age, it's gonna make them gay. You know, we don't wanna make the kids gay. You know, if we, if we show a kid, someone gay, they're gonna become gay instantly. That's how it works. Clearly being gay is a sickness that you could just spread by coughing on someone if you're gay. Just a little bit of a gay cough, like glitter is just like, barf out and just make you. Right now there are also several states still trying to pass laws banning drag shows in public spaces. Um, here is a list of the states that you should Keep on the lookout for local laws. After the Randy McNally performance take, uh, some dude came up to us and like uh, started trying to tell me, what, what was his first thing he said? He said, uh, you're laughing now, but when Jesus comes back, you're gonna be on your knees. Which exactly is exactly what he say, very gay. Christ is coming back soon. Christ is coming back soon. And you're gonna be on your knees. Here, we'll show you the clip of him coming up and talking to us. It's not that hard. It's actually quite liberating. It's, a, it's the most beautiful thing in the world. Did you know that before the foundation of the earth, Jesus yeah. Christ, he had already been slain for the sins of some. Already, even before the foundation of the earth, there are some whose names are written on them. There are some who's not. 
sure. There are vessels that are made for honor and for glory. There are uh, there are vessels that were made for dishonor. I totally believe. Actually, it. like, you ever, you, have you ever heard of you ever heard he of that thing? Go it? right now, though. But you, I you know what? But that. where are you gonna go? Uh, That's he was talking to us. I had this idea, so I pulled up my phone. I started queuing up the song. I was like, oh, this is perfect. And then uh, I did a performance take right in front of him, interrupting his conversation. Roll the clip. Literally the equivalent of doing that. You are. You are. You are. You are using. You are using. The TX2 is not punk rock, but then explain what the fuck any of this is. We're literally going into a protest, doing performance takes, making viral clips at protests that are clearly homophobic. In the face of hundreds of people that wanted to kick our ass, we decided to do a performance take. TX2 is punk rock, you can't tell me shit.